so Don Cherry, uh, after uh, 38 years of uh, serving for the pleasure of his bosses and probably made them lots of money, and he made himself a handsome salary. Uh, he did himself. Um, he did very well. Yeah. yeah, he did well. But 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 he, for him to last 38 years, Bill, people were watching him over yeah, two years. the most popular man in professional hockey. He sold that spot for big money. Well, you know what? Listen, so Frank, you know, when this happened on Saturday, this is the world we live in now. Twitter exploded. You know, I was at work. I was, I was you know, watch, uh, covering the Leaf game. And after he said, you people, and said what he said, Twitter just erupted. And there was so much crying. And yesterday, just I just want to, and then we'll go back to that, Eric. Uh, and yesterday, there's a show which is uh, our version of The View. It's called The Social, right? Yeah, yeah, she got they, herself a they, or two. One of the, the ladies yep. uh, talked about white privilege. Yeah, the, the people that play in hockey. That's right. And maybe you can correct me both if I'm wrong. I don't see much of a difference in uh, offending people. Oh, no, she yeah, she offended a lot of people. Uh, Twitter was, was buzzing yesterday after that happened as well. Yeah, so, so, so like, like, I know Don Cherry very well. Yep. I, could, I consider him my friend. He's an outspoken individual. He's been an outspoken individual for 38 years. And they paid him. And you know what? You, you said that they paid him well. They paid him well to be outspoken. That's what he does. Well, what, is, what, 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 what else did he do? I mean, that's okay. what uh, television's all about. You've got to entertain people. Exactly. Well, and but the bill, you're outspoken, too. You, 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 you uh, give your opinion, and, it's, and you're very passionate. So I don't understand how Saturday was any different than any other day. My, I am the son different. I, I of immigrant. Why I am the son of immigrant parents, yep. and I was not offended. Frank, yeah, I, I can only tell you this: they wanted to fire him when they put the purge on there in July. I agree. Something happened, and apparently a story was leaked that said that CBC slash Hockey Night in Canada had told Don he'd be back. Yeah. And that was printed, and everybody was handcuffed. Uh, I, I read somewhere, and you guys can correct me, that some of the big sponsors, the big money sponsors, a couple of them were beginning to complain about Don. Well, there's well, sure I, heard, I didn't hear that, Frank, but I'm not surprised. And I, I, was... I, 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 I read it. I, heard, I read it. I have an eidetic memory yep. that some of the larger sponsors, I'm not going to mention their names, I know who um, they are. And you guys I won't, I won't. Go on the fucking uh, uh, on the on the I won't internet won't and that. find out. <laughs> We're beginning to complain about some of Don's opinions. And, yeah, and so the other thing that I heard was that Budweiser said, "Here, well, that's one. If of you them, need yeah. money to, to hire grapes, here's a million. Yeah. So it works. I I I heard exactly what you said, both sides. That that I told you this many times, Bill. The way I think, people. Um, you know, uh, Rogers, when they spent the billions of dollars to buy Hockey Night in Canada property, right, to be able to uh, broadcast it and televise it, um, gambled, and they took a beating the first two years because no Canadian teams were in the fucking playoffs. Yeah, they did. I, I, massive beating, but 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 they've they've done you know with the streaming and and uh, you know the, their their incredible relationship with. Uh, uh, Apple and um, Amazon and, and uh, all, the, all the guys who, who are in streaming, right? Wow. Yeah, the bottom line is, Frank, I can tell you overall, the money they spent on the hockey deal has not paid off, and it's been, it's been so bad for them that this offseason they had to let go of Doug McLean, Nick Kiprios. Uh, but but I, mean, I disagree with you. That, that's, not, that's not enough. That, that, like, I'm a businessman. Yep. Those, those changes... I don't think they were because of um, whether they were making a profit or not. They made those changes because they're trying to give, they're trying to impact their brand on streaming and try to get as many peeps as possible. I want to go back to Don Cherry for a second. Yeah. I know for a fact, you know, I, I, I did a lot of business with CBC. I know for a fact that Don Cherry was and still was a very hot property that a lot of people especially in Canada, would tune in for his two cents. 100% correct. And not Absolutely. only that, but when, once they announced 
that he was being let go. They did. You know, there were people that went to the building yesterday that boycotted, that have threatened. Uh, Rod, if you take a look at today, their, there's a, a tons of petitions. There's tons of tons of backlash, and there's tons of petitions, right, right. of people for Don Cherry. Now, I would have handled it a little different. If he had to go, he had to go. I would, I would have let, let him go on his own terms. You don't embarrass somebody who's been with you for 38 years, right, or a brand for 38 years. You either tell him. You know what? Uh, your ideology and the times are not in sync anymore. And, you know, at the end of the season, you, you want to retire? Well, uh, and I, I agree with that, Frank, but it yeah. only tells you how desperate Sportsnet is as an industry to get yeah, but all, not the Sportsnet. Role. Everybody, ESPN, Fox, everybody, they, they are based on... On peeps, so if if there's a broadcaster or some of their element that's that's denigrating or hurting them, they will cut their fucking throats. No matter who they are, Bill O'Reilly, Bill O'Reilly was a main property for Fox. Yeah, they cut his throat. They did, and I, I think that there's. And, but what I'm trying to tell you guys is. It is an, a very, Bill, you're a broadcaster. Eric, you're a broadcaster. It's very competitive yep. to have everybody try to jump and watch your, your fucking uh, program. And if you have somebody watching your program that's denigrating the chances of you uh, burning advertising dollars, they're going to cut your throat. 100% correct. And I think Don, at 85 years old, He's not going to change. He's going. He, he, yeah, but you know, it doesn't matter. There's, it, there, you, you tell Don whether he was 85, 79. He gave 38 years of his life to the brand. He was Coach's Corner. There was no Coach's Corner before that. There was Peter Puck. That's true. But you know this. So, so, so what you do is you say, listen, out of respect, Don. And the other thing, and I'll go back to that. The other thing is, I think Ron McClain threw him under a fucking bus. And McLean didn't help him. McLean agreed with him. He nodded. I think Ron McLean threw him under a fucking bus. And he had to apologize. Because from what I hear, he never told, he never told Don Cherry that he was going to go rogue and apologize. He did the next day. That's right. Yeah, without Don Cherry knowing. And you know why he did that? To save his own ass. To save his life. To save right. his job. To save his job. Anyways, listen. Um, I'm Canadian, and I love my country. And I'm proud to be that my father decided to come here and give us a, a great opportunities. And I was born in, in Toronto. And as the son of an immigrant, and I miss my dad every day because I lost him uh, last year, I was not offended by Don Cherry. I think Don Cherry, the problem with the fucking, uh, with all of us, like I said to you the other day, Eric, between the brain and the mouth, there's no ABS breaks. Yeah, and, and you know what? Don has been talking like that forever. He's been using the term used people and referring to, like, everybody, not just him. Yeah, but, but you know, he, if, if, they, if they want to be offended now, Don right. used to really uh, rip on uh, Russians. Don used to rip on uh, uh, players from Quebec. Yeah, Europeans. Quebec. Yeah, Don used to rip on uh, people who go in the corner, and, 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 he, and he made some <laughs> highly... <laughs> I would say statements that today would be incredibly politically incorrect. Okay, well, you know what? For anyone who thinks that he's, you know, a racist, let me just say this. And I think that, you know, we heard this. In I know him personally. He's not a racist. No, he's no fucking way. On Cherry's a racist. I know him very well. And uh, he's a first-class man. Yep. And, uh, and you know, he's made his living and, and talking uh, like a country bumpkin. 